Okay, line is a normal incidence <coughs> on thin soap of refractive index 1.3 and thickness of 0 0.15 micrometer. Calculate the wavelength of light that undergoes constructive interference and destructive interference. Okay, so checking this question is about thin film again. Yeah, thin soap. Uh, so it's about thin film. So it's not double slit or single slit or what else about thin film uh, so uh, this thin film is uh, this thin soap is like the soap bubble is again the same thing like this one the soap bubbles yeah it's lower higher lower refractive index uh, anti-phase sources okay uh, only one ray got pyridium phase change the other ray no uh, no pyridium phase change so they become anti-phase uh, because uh, both of them got phase difference of pi radian. Okay, so uh, this is the same as the previous questions. So I just copy the diagram from previous one. Okay, uh, everything is the same. Hold on a second. Okay, just copy here. Uh, because it's the same as the previous previous example video. Okay, it's about thin film again. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's also two anti phase sources yeah for this one um okay thin soap is a low higher lower uh, so that means the first ray got high radiant phase change because it's from lower to higher refractive index reflection or high radiant phase change but the second ray uh second ray has no phase change no phase change because it's from higher to lower reflection higher to lower refractive index reflection so no phase change so zero uh, so the first ray and second ray the phase difference the phase difference between first ray and second ray is just uh, because one ray got phase change the other ray no phase change so it's pi minus zero then is equal to pi radian uh, so between first ray and second ray uh, there are pi radian phase difference between there are pi radian phase difference between first ray and second ray because one ray got phase change, the other ray no phase change. Uh, okay, not equal, not equal because one ray got phase change, the other ray no phase change, they become not equal. Uh, they become not equal. If not equal means got uh, phase difference lah. Uh, they uh, since they become not equal, they become anti phase. Uh, become anti phase because they are not equal. One ray got phase change, the other ray no phase change. They, they become unequal, they become anti phase. Uh, yeah, uh, between them got pi radian diff phase difference. Yeah, between first ray and second ray got pi radian diff pi radian phase difference. So they are they are these two rays are anti phase. Uh, these two rays are anti phase. So anti phase sources, uh, the bright fringe use uh, m plus half lambda, uh, dark fringe use m lambda. Okay, I already explained this in previous video, and then for bright fringe formula. Uh, this one this order can start from zero because you still have half lambda for the thickness okay but for dark fringe formula the order the minimum order uh, what I can say uh, this is actually the minimum order uh, the minimum order uh, okay so for dark fringe formula the minimum order uh, is one it cannot be zero this m this order m cannot equal to zero uh, because if m equal to zero for this one you don't have the half lambda you if the m you substitute with zero then the thickness becomes zero uh, which is impossible if zero thickness of thin film zero thickness of thin film means there are there are no no thin film there are no soup bubble at all yeah there are no soup bubble at all there are no thin film so impossible impossible for thickness become zero so this order must start from one okay must start from one Okay, so now uh, which one we're going to use? Yeah, which one we're going to use? Um, for okay, now oh, but this thing the thin soap is 1.3 refractive index, so this one I should change a bit. This one is uh 1.3, uh, yeah, 1.3 only, yeah, 1.3. Let me highlight again back, yeah, so it's uh oh, 1.3, uh, all right. Uh, the soap bubble is 1.3 thickness oh i already have the thickness here 
uh, the thickness of the flum the thickness of the flum here is um, uh, z uh, the thickness of the flum is 0 0.15 micrometer uh, this micrometer need to change to si unit meter okay the thickness of thin flum i already have it now i want to find the wavelength uh, i want to find the wavelength lambda okay for constructive interference, that means this is the bright fringe. And then the second one is dark fringe. Uh, destructive interference. Yeah? Destructive interference. So now, uh, what I'm going to do? Yeah, how I'm going to do this? So for question A, uh, I need to use the bright fringe formula. Uh, because it's constructive interference, so it's constructive interference means bright fringe. Uh, bright fringe formula. I'm going to use the bright fringe formula. These are two anti phase sources. The bright fringe is m plus half lambda. Okay, two NT equal to m plus half lambda. Okay, uh, and then um, how about the, the, the second one? Destructive interference. Question B. Uh, question B use dark fringe. Uh, destructive interference means dark fringe. Uh, that one use. Uh, 2 nt equal to m lambda that one use m lambda understand now uh, the n value reflective index use uh, 1.3 okay thickness also given 0 0.15 mic uh, micrometer okay so 2 nt okay now uh, i want to find wavelength lambda right but the order ah what's the order what should i put for the order for this one Ah, so the diff so you, see, you you must see the difference between bright fringe and dark fringe. So he didn't say uh, anything. So we just take the minimum thickness, okay? Minimum thickness. So we take just take the minimum order, right? Uh, we just take the minimum order, okay? So both taking minimum order, both taking minimum order, yeah. Uh, this order we just put minimum order. Uh, both of these. Yeah, we using minimum order. Okay, now this one for bright fringe. What's the minimum order? Ah, uh, we can put zero. We can put zero. But for dark fringe, the minimum order must be equal to one. The minimum order must be equal to one. Cannot be zero. If the minimum order is zero, then the thickness becomes zero, uh, which is impossible. But if this one um order minimum you put zero then the thickness is still not zero because you still have half lambda huh you still have half lambda uh okay so the difference between the bright fringe and dark fringe uh, this one m you put zero this one m you put one okay that's it uh then continue yeah find our answer so n is uh, 1.3 the soap bubble reflective index okay uh okay um Let's continue. So thickness um, change to SI unit. Yeah, change to SI unit. 0 0.15 micro micro is negative six. Uh, negative six. And then uh, this one order you put zero. Uh, and then lambda. Okay. So find the answer. Okay, find the answer. Okay, find the lambda. For this one lambda. Okay, 2 multiply 1.3 multiply uh, 0 0.15 exponent negative 6 uh, and then divide by 0, uh, 0 0.5 again. So the answer is 7.8 uh, 7.8 exponent uh, negative 7 meter. Okay, and how about the, the dark fringe? Uh, this dark fringe, the order we put one uh, we put one but the the, the rest is the same uh, 1.3 reflective index thickness is 0 0.15 micrometer micro is exponent negative six okay the order this one put one i uh, cannot put zero if imagine you put zero what happened uh, it become you cannot find the wavelength if you put zero order and then uh, this is wavelength uh, okay so order you put one so this lambda equal to okay, let's calculate and see uh okay the answer i get is 3.9 3 
uh, 3.9 exponent negative 7 exponent negative 7 meter okay uh, if uh, I want to change to nanometer uh, if I want to change to nanometer then is um, uh, 780 exponent negative 9 meter uh, understand uh, then uh, is 780 nanometer okay and then that one also 390 exponent negative 9 meter uh, and then uh, become 390 nanometer all right so um, uh, I think that's it for these questions so is the answer correct let's check the answer so for bright fringe uh, is 780 nanometer 780 nanometer that's correct okay and how about the dark fringe formula dark fringe uh, is uh, 390 nanometer 390 390 nanometer 390 nanometer that's correct okay so the emphasis is on this order lah uh, this order so be careful with this order all right uh, that's the difference between bright fringe and dark fringe okay so anti-phase source uh, use uh, bright fringe the m plus half lambda dark fringe is m lambda okay so that's it for this question i hope you understand bye